Hello everyone, this is RC Madness and today I'm gonna show you on how to put this kill switch for one fast skills parts. This is a Daytona kill switch. So I'm going to be installing this in a Red Cat Racing Rampage XR. This will work on any one fast skill car. So the first thing you need to do for this exactly model, you need to take this three bolts out. It was for this thing. This, that was here. So I took that out. Those three bolts. That comes out right away. Put that on the side. Then you want to do is take this little cover off. I take these. The, um, this bolt out. Uh, this one. I think there's two. Right there. And right there. Somewhere. Like, yeah, right there. Then this whole thing comes out. So I wanna do, I'm gonna be right back. Okay guys, why don't you take those bolts out? And um, by the way, there's two more bolts here on the scene. You to take those two bolts out as well. Once you do the whole thing comes out, and when that comes out, you are able to see this. Uh before I start I'm gonna clean all of this up. Oh remember these washers. Big washers. Take this out and put them away. So I'm gonna clean this up and be right back. Okay guys, so this is the thing that came on the Daytona kill switch. This will go here and that little wire goes in the box. And also this is a this is a kill switch. It comes with the light. And yeah, so you connect this little thing onto this and you connect that on your third channel. And the light, you just put it somewhere here where you can see it. And it also comes with this to make it easier so it stays there. That's pretty cool. And by the way, this is really cheap. This is like a $36 kill switch. The um, Super B kill switch, it costs $60. So this is like a cheap kill switch that anybody can buy if they are in a budget like me so this is what it looks like so I'm gonna be installing this and tell you what I did on um, installing it okay okay guys once you install this little thing so remember red goes here and negative goes in the other way okay then I was like looking at this, I was like, wait, how was this going to be installed because this, you know, what the heck? So then I discovered and you have to take these little things out. So you take those off and then put that in there. And that's how simple it is. Okay, I'm going to continue and be right back. Okay guys, here's the update. So I just found out that this, I mean, focus, focus, focus. Right there. So the wire is actually soldered into this little thing. So I guess I'm just gonna cut that off, that wire off, and then put that one in. You know, I think that Super B kill switch is sounding pretty damn good right now because you don't have to do none of this. It comes with its own a button, so you don't have to do this. But anyways, 36 bucks. You can argue that. So I'm just gonna get started. And it might be hard to take this little thing off, so I just use a little flat head to take it off. Now I'm just gonna cut it off, okay? Okay guys, so I finally did it. I took both of the things out. That was quite hard. When you take that wire, so like I said before, I was started in this. So what you wanna do, when you cut the wire off, get a grinder and grind that little saw that was left in there. But um, because I'm cheap, I don't have one, so I had to use a knife and file it in. And it works. Look at that. It's a little bumpy there, but it works. And when you get one that is flat and everything, you took everything out, put um, the red wire with the, where it was, so you don't get confused which one is the red and which one is the negative. So once you have that cover, put that in the spot that it goes, and once you do that, put everything back. 
and I took the little cover that goes here because I didn't have access to the negative wire. So to make it easy, I just took it off and um, put it in. So you guys are uh, gonna be back. Okay, guys. So we did it. It was look. It was what it looks like. Remember, red and black was here. Red and black was here. Okay, this is how you know. So the stop sign is this way. So this happens. So when you put the car, it's gonna be like this. The top one is a negative. The bottom one is a positive. Okay. So I'm gonna put all the covers up. Now, actually, I'm gonna put this into the little kill switch and everything before I put this back in. Okay, guys, my mouth through. So I have everything connected. So here we look like I connected that wire to the kill switch. This wire in the third channel. Make sure you have a third channel, by the way. It's right here. Remember that the uh, run wire goes in this side. That's an negative. So make sure it goes this way. So I'm gonna turn my controller on. Put on. Yeah, right there. And boom. We have a red, a red light. Okay. Let's check it. So I'm gonna push my third channel right here. Let's see. Yup. I don't know if that makes it so for now. It probably is. That's on. Off. On. And then turn the controller off. Off. And the controller's on. Turn it off. See so it works. Yup, everything works. And that's how you for the kill switch and after this it's all done and works fine we need to make a hole on the top over here for the LED light and another one so you can pass this through here and after all of that is done put everything back okay guys right, so I'm done with everything I put the little light here I actually made the hole with the knife the pocket knife also here too as well and I guess it works, but in the future I'm gonna buy a um what's it called uh, the thing that to make the hole look better. And now so make a hole here so this can pass through. Look at that little hole right there. All towards the knife. Make sure when you tie these two, don't over tie these because this this is metal, but this is plastic. So if you over tie this, and you might break this little plastic thing. So be careful with that. I right, put everything else through. Here, 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 make sure to put the washer back in and screw that, what, well, um, screw, and there it is. Everything is in here, it's quite nice and tight. I'm probably going to make another hole so I can just, uh, I have to open all of these, um, just to open this little, uh, cap to charge the battery. So I'm going to do that in the future when I get it. Oh, this is a problem for me. Okay, let me check that real quick. There you go. Also, I'm not sure if this will go with every Red Cat Racing Rampage XR, but the screws to take this little thing off. The screws goes clockwise instead of counterclockwise. So remember that if you want to take the box. That's pretty weird. And that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Small videos are cool.